Or, hey Josie, there we go. Sorry, it started before I noticed it. Anyway, it was really, really awesome seeing you for your birthday. I just thought I would mention that really quick before I started talking to you about my day. And I'm sorry it's taken me so long to upload a new video. But finals and papers and all of that is pretty crazy. Even though I guess that isn't an excuse because you always manage to upload videos and you have more work than I do, it seems. Anyway, um, let's see. I definitely don't mind re-recording those Christmas songs. If anything, it'll probably be better without Austin there. I just felt kind of awkward with him in the room. I don't know. I'm just weird, I guess. Because I mean, I mean, I sang a solo in front of strangers before. You'd think I'd be able to do it in front of someone I know, but hey. Oh my gosh, though, it is so freaking cold outside. It's insane. Like, I'm wearing a sweater, and I mean, I don't ever wear sweaters. And I don't know, I didn't take my jacket off like all day. It was insane. Like, I feel like it's about to snow. That's how cold I feel right now. My hands are numb. And you know how my hands are always warm, but they're cold right now. That doesn't make any sense. <sighs> but other than that, my day was really, really good. If not just average, I guess. But average in a good way. Um, my pre -count grade went up, like I told you. I have an 82.4 in the class right now, which is much better than I could have ever hoped for. Seriously. I don't know how I got that lucky. Um, I just studied a lot, I guess. And I'm hoping that if I study a lot for the final, then um, I can maintain the grade. So let's hope that happens. Um, I got my grade for my religion class essay on Islam back, and I got a 100 on it, so that's really exciting. Um, I don't know if it was just a completion grade or what, but I'm just thankful for it, nevertheless. Even though mine ended up being like, it was it ended up being like 700 words, and it was supposed to be like 300, so. I got a little overexcited about that one. Oh, okay, so finally I have an interesting story to tell you about my day. So, um, earlier this morning when I was at the college, I was heading towards my car. And I was walking out of the building that I have pre-cal in, which is the one that's like right next to the main office building. And I'm not really paying attention to where I'm going. and someone like opens the door for me and I don't really you know I, I would just say thank you but I don't really look at who it is and then they were like Lisa how are you doing and it was Paul again Paul and I just can't seem to go without talking for more than a week apparently it kind of sucks but um he was like smiling really really big and it was kind of weird and he asked me how my day was going and I said, it was, it was, I was like, oh, yeah, it's fine. It's it's going good. And he told me that he's decided that he wants to be a middle school teacher now. So, God help the children of the world if he ever becomes a teacher. And it was just weird, and, like, people were looking at us, because he's pretty well known on campus now as the creepy religious guy that tries to attack you while you're attempting to go to your class. And, I don't know, I know he, like, harassed a girl that's in my pre-calculus course. I think it was Tuesday morning. Because it's Thursday right now, I think. Yeah, Thursday. 7.04, 7.05 p.m. to be exact. But it was just weird. I don't know why I keep running into him. I guess the campus is small, but, I mean, I see people that I've never seen before on a daily basis. So you would think that I could at least go at least a month without having to talk to him, but no, that's just... The Lord is testing me. Oh, okay, so Vinny had his, um, Botox appointment today, which is where they inject botulism, like the virus botulism, into your body, because apparently it, like, helps your muscles or whatever. Um... And it's because his foot is like, it's doing this instead of laying flat, it's doing this. So they injected him into his like upper thigh and like his calf muscle in the back. 
Um, and it should, like, take effect within seven to eight days, so we'll see if that helps at all. If not, then maybe eventually they're gonna have to, like, cut his ankle tendon, which is not, not good. Um, but he did really well. Um, he was kind of, like, joking around with, with the doctor, uh, Dr. Renfro, who's also technically my neurologist, but I see his nurse practitioner instead. But, um, it was really funny because Vinny had to, like, take off his pants, so he was sitting there in this, like, underwear, and he was laying on his back, and when Renfro came in, he was like, hey, you know, you're gonna have to roll over so I can reach your left leg. And Vinny, like, rolled over on his stomach, but he kept, like, he kept, like, trying to, like, look over his shoulder and see, um, what Renfro was doing, and I was like, hey, Vinny, are you posing for the camera? You look like a mermaid! It was really funny. And everybody was laughing, and I don't know, it seemed to calm him down a little bit. And he didn't, like, scream or cry or anything like he did the last time. So it went really, really well. And what did we do after that? After that, we went and ate Mexican food for dinner. And then we went to Winn-Dixie, and I froze my butt off in the parking lot because they gave Vinny, um, this pain medicine. And I uh, made him, like, really, really sleepy. So we couldn't really go into the store. But yeah, now I'm home. We just got back from doing that. In a few minutes, I'm going to watch the country Christmas music thing with Vinny because he asked me to. I don't really give a shit about country music, as you know. But I'm doing it for my brother. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a sister. Because I'm a good sister. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, what else? Oh, I'm gonna try to edit this, so we'll see how that goes. If it doesn't work, I, like, sincerely apologize. I'm gonna try. That's all I can say is I'll try. I think that's about it for now. This video is gonna be a little short. I'm planning on maybe making you another one tomorrow. Um, just, like, telling you random facts or something. I don't know. I feel like I should make you, like, a fun little video. For your birthday or something. By the way, I'm also working on um, getting stamps to mail you a picture of my beautiful face. Because <laughs> um, you asked for that. And um, yeah, I tried to print out that certificate thing again, but it didn't work. I'm not really sure why it's not working, but who knows. But I really hope that you had a good day. I know you've been like loaded, 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 loaded times a billion down with essays and biology and pre-calculus and Beowulf and just awfulness. So I bet you're really, really looking forward to Christmas break. I know I am. And tomorrow um, I'm probably going to end up just going to the library and studying and all that jazz. So I'm going to go ahead and end this because it is almost nine minutes long. And, um, yeah, I just really hope that you had a good day, and you were the best, and you were awesome, and I love you mucho, yo. No me gusta! Hey, why would I say no me gusta? Because I like you. What about holy frioles? You are awesome!